And now, an exclusive sneak preview of a recent Xtalks webinar, 2024's Pharma Industry Trends and Digital Innovations. So the other area that we want to dive into a little bit is, you know, the therapeutic space itself, what's going to be merging, what's going to, you know, have a big impact in 2024. And, you know, one of those places to start is really to look at, you know, a therapeutic area that's going to have a make or break moment this year. And, you know, it's going to happen in a few areas. But one of those areas that we really want to talk about is, you know, cell and gene therapy. It's, you know, obviously in a growing and growing part of the pipeline in pharmaceutical and biologics companies for quite some time. And you have this kind of rolling tide of maturing um, therapeutics moving their way through different stages of clinical towards commercial uh approval. And what that generates is a capacity challenge on the manufacturing side. And there has been progress made in this area. You know, I think if we look back at the start of 2023, there was almost a, you know, I won't call it a full on like dire panic situation, but there was definitely this very acute understanding that there was a capacity challenge that was going to dramatically impact the ability to bring these therapeutics to market in a cost-effective way at scale. The progress made, but I think we'll see throughout 2024 that this is still going to be a big focus and a big challenge. I think it's going to really impact the uh, CMO, CDMO spaces uh, within the pharma biologics uh, market, and they're going to continue to play this very vital role in helping to develop the capabilities needed to manufacture at speed, at scale, at cost, and the talent uh, to do so. But then, as you know, Nicole just mentioned on the technology platform side, you're talking about a production process that is dramatically different from you know some of your small molecule, even your you know some of your large molecule space, where you're really getting into this vein to vein very personalized um, batch of one type situations and having the production uh, systems in place that have the flexibility with that no code, low code approach to help you, you know, adapt processes as you need to um, have the flexibility to scale, have the parameterization in place to help you address the complex manufacturing and the variable small batch uh, characteristics of that production is going to be very, very important. And, you know, one of our customers that, you know, we work with in the, the manufacturing space, you know, puts it pretty well. The landscape is changing in terms of the types of diseases and complexity that we are trying to treat. Sponsors and inventors are creating ever more complex molecules. You need to overcome the manufacturing challenges and develop new approaches to reach those complex targets. And that's a mix of you know, developing the new process, the skill set and talent to execute it, and the systems to enable it. And it really is going to be a, it's going to focus in 2023, and it's going to continue to be a big trend in 2024 from our perspective. Um, hot on the heels of that, so is I think 2023 was kind of this breakthrough moment for. Um, this category of uh, OBC, uh, OBC drugs. And I think what happens in any year where you have that be a big breakthrough is you have scale up challenges, you have production challenges to meet the demand, and you're looking to rapidly carve off production capability, supply and distribution capabilities to ensure that you have the ability to deliver as much of a blockbuster product to market as quickly as possible. What you then run into, what I think we'll see in 2024 quite a bit, is the success of those products then spur a look at how the underlying uh, proponents, uh, capabilities and the underlying attributes of those therapeutics can be applied to other areas. 
And so I think we're going to see a continued kind of ripple effect out as those core BC drugs, they start to look for ways to maximize the investment that was put in scaling those up and the manufacturing and supply networks that are in place and see what other um, types of uh, applications can be developed using that core and how it can expand. So I think 2024 will be this year where we see that kind of ripple out and continue to impact the industry in a number of different ways. So those are kind of the therapeutic areas that we you know, see being kind of a big focus this year. There are others. Those are the ones that we've highlighted here. Um, but I think they also dovetail into you know, what will continue to be a, a big focus area in 2024 is what will the impact of the macroeconomic issues, you know, really let's call them the headwinds that were really strong in 2023, how are those going to impact the industry moving forward? And that's what Nicole's going to take us through now. To view the entirety of this webinar, visit the link in the description and register on xtalks.com completely free of charge.